koalas rescued from fire now carry from floods. Last week, bushfires came within 10 kilometres of the Australian Reptile Park. Have a go at it. Look at what's coming in the park, a wall of water. Since Thursday, heavy rain has lashed parts of Australia's east coast. For Queensland and New South Wales, plagued by record-breaking bushfires, this was welcome relief. Hello, mate. What are you doing? He's just drinking water. In New South Wales, a wounded koala licked water off the road. The Rural Fire Service here said rain fell across most of its fires, although dozens still burn. It's just beautiful listening to it though, listening to it on the roof. It's a long time since we've had it. Yeah, so we're enjoying it. Up to 300 millimetres of rain fell in southern Queensland, forcing commuters to get creative. 70% of Queensland is affected by drought. Oh my goodness! This was the first time 14-month-old Lacey Sewell had ever seen rain. You're right. Much of Australia's been in drought for a good two, three years, but certainly across that area where the fires have been at their worst, you're looking at really heavy rainfall coming in on parched ground. The trees have obviously been damaged, if not destroyed, so they're not able to soak up the water. The ground's rock hard. It will tend to just wash off. So that's why you do essentially get the, 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 the flooding. For many Australians, flooding is a small price to pay. Bryce Chapman's farm is in the grips of drought. He's been hand feeding his cattle to keep them alive. Yeah! Oh, I love it. I don't care how wet it is. It can rain all, all the week as far as I'm concerned. We've never had so much rain in so many years. Well, since I've been here 17 years. The rain is expected to move south over the next few days and bring relief to the state of Victoria, where firefighters continue to be dwarfed by flames and they could use more help from above. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.